All right, well then address for a second, uh, you know, the old adage, defense wins championships. I don't know if that's true or not, but we've definitely seen this uh, in the Super Bowl, right? The Giants over the Pats twice, and then uh, Baltimore over the Giants. So we've seen this, you know, in other sports. I don't know whether it's applicable here, but we've definitely seen it in the Super Bowl. What do you, what do you, uh, what's your take on that old adage, Joe Duffy? No, it's, it's one of the biggest myths in sports. In fact, mm. if defense wins championships, we'd probably be talking about the Jets playing Tampa Bay right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me the last team that won with defense that had a mediocre quarterback or a mediocre offense. Even the, you know, the Baltimore team that did win the Super Bowl, considered to be one of the greatest of all times when they had Jamal Lewis, a perfect, you know, almost like a Marshawn Lynch type running back, move chains. Trent Dilfer, as mediocre of a quarterback as he was career-wise, Take a look at his uh, interception touchdown ratio that year. He clearly had a, a career year. So, no. I mean, you look at these Super Bowl winners, the one thing that almost all of them have had in common is great quarterbacks, and that is especially recently with the new rule changes. So even though historically defense has meant a lot more, now I will take a great offense. And I got news mm. for you that Russell Wilson, as long as he stays healthy, his team's going to have a great defense his entire career because he's just that good and he keeps the defense off the field. Now, I will take a great offense over a great defense. And if Matt Flynn were the quarterback of Seattle, they, you, we'd be talking about how lousy the defense they were. Okay, Troy West, uh, some contentious statements there by, uh, by Joe Duffy. No, he, he makes great points. I do think that these quarterbacks, uh, you know, they're definitely not on the mediocre side, but they do get by. I mean, you look at Joe Flacco in the year he had this year compared to what he had last year. He really fed off of that defense last year. So I think it was a great defense that got the Ravens to win a Super Bowl last year. Russell Wilson is, is to me, he's a, he's a good enough quarterback to get it done in this game, Pete, because of what Joe Duffy said earlier. He's smart. He doesn't turn the ball over. He does enough things to do. He makes enough big plays to win these type of games. I don't think he needs to outplay Peyton Manning to win this game. I think he needs to make enough plays to win this game. And, you know, I think that he's been doing it all year. I mean, you can't argue it. Beat 13-3. and three. You look at the road to the Super Bowl. They beat the Saints. They beat the hottest team in football in the 49ers. I think Russell Wilson just needs to do enough to win this game and put it on the back of his defense. So I would disagree in a, in a, in a way just because I think it is, and the ultimately Seattle's defense has got him to this point, and I think it's going to be Seattle's defense. If they win this Super Bowl, it's going to be the defense that gets it done. All right, well, that's a great lead into the uh, secondary matchup. Uh, Denver's defense against Seattle's offense. You know, Denver's defense, a lot of injuries kind of maligned all year, but uh, against the Pats, they got it done. Maybe they've turned a corner. What do you think, Troy West? They sure have looked a lot better the last couple of weeks, Pete, but this defense really is banged up. Mm -hmm. I know they looked great against the Patriots, but minus Vaughn Miller, I know they've been without him for a while now, minus Chris Harris, they haven't really seen an offense like the Seattle Seahawks. It's really going to smash mouth football with Marshawn Lentz, some play action. you got to keep in mind Russell Wilson can run the ball at any moment in that game, so a much different taste of what the Denver Broncos are going to face this coming weekend in the Super Bowl. So I, I'm not so sure. I'm not jumping on their wagon. you got to remember, Pete, the Seattle Seahawks have faced top five defenses their last four opponents with the Arizona Cardinals, the New Orleans Saints, and the San Francisco 49ers, and they did enough to win. I think this could be refreshing for Seattle to see a defense like the Denver Broncos, which I don't think is on the level of the 49ers and the Saints that they've seen the last couple of weeks. Joe Duffy, what do you make of that? Denver's defense uh, still pretty, pretty vulnerable, or have they maybe turned a corner? Now, Denver's defense is pretty vulnerable, but this is one of the perfect examples of why we prefer to use the metrics that I just said rather than give, you know, looking at the mere points per game or yards per game that they give up. Denver, again, because they play such that fast-paced offense, they're going to take a lot more snaps on defense than those teams are. But at the end of the day, Denver, and this will surprise some people, they hold teams to .1 yards per play below their normal average. Now, that's not very good, but that says they're just slightly better than average on defense. So their defense isn't all that awful. But no, I don't think they're going to have a whole lot of success against the Seattle offense, which is very versatile. And as I said, they can get yardage, whether it's Marshawn Lynch grinding it out or whether it's Russell Wilson keeping plays alive with his feet. And there's still a, a right as of right now, it looks like Percy Harvin's probably going to play. So they've got a lot of versatility there. I don't look for Denver to have much success on defense.